Hey everybody, you are tuned in to another Free Matt podcast. I'm the one and only Matt Free Matt. Uh, General Patrick Flynn, my usual cohort, he wants to send his well wishes. He's doing well, enjoying life. I wanted to do a video today. Apologize for wrecking things. Also, I have a uh, uh, unintended guest making noise, ruining a good video. One of uh, one of my little tidbits today is one of my little tidbits today. I wanted to talk about was the up and coming. Uh, I think they're going to put them up for a vote soon if they haven't done it already. A guy named Chipman. I don't like the name, but Chipman. Um, one of his greatest misses, I believe, was from Waco. I can pull that up. I'm going to look at it off screen. But the whole thing is, uh, it screams not good. I'm trying to be nice about that. I think he was the one who had been... It blatantly asked about, like, the, um, how do I word this, it, it, like AR-15s, um, and basically said they want to do away with it. Um, yeah, trying to be put in charge of ATF. And the irony is there's a lot of people pushing them not to, um, um, Here's the thing, uh, I, I wanted to say that it was covered that he wasn't a part of the Waco siege. And I know people claim that. Um, I think that, uh, I guess he was in Virginia at the time, so um, I guess there's people that kind of mix those together. I don't. Um, Anyway, here's the thing that I wanted people to know that a lot of what he has said about AR-15s and trying to ban them, it wasn't at some position of position if he's ever, uh, what's the word I was looking for? Is this in your best interest? And do people... Do, do people have your best interests out for you? Which, obviously, if you ask a libertarian, they don't. Um, he couldn't even define what, I think, an assault weapon was. Calling for assault weapons ban. And, and of course, I think he, he gave a non-answer. This is a New York Post. I'll put a link below. Of course, he said, Senator... An assault weapon would be, in the context of the question you asked, what Congress defines it, it as. And, of course, Tom Cotton says, So you're asking us to ban assault weapons? Cotton answered, We have to write legislation. Can you tell me what is an assault weapon? How would you define it if you were the head of the ATF? Have you defined it over the last several years in your role as gun control advocate? And, of course, he, he cites some firearm sale on the southwest border. He claimed the ATF defines an assault rifle as any semi-automatic rifle capable of accepting detachable magazine above the caliber of 22, you know, uh, 22 caliber, which would include a 223, which is, you know, largely the AR-15 round. So you believe that every weapon that takes a detachable magazine that can take a 22 round or a 556 five, in military parlance should be defined as an assault weapon. That's what Cotton had asked. Chipman stumbled over his response. Cotton attempted to confirm his earlier answer. A detachable magazine that takes a 556 five, or a 22 round should be defined as a assault weapon, the Republican asked. Of course, he gives a series of non- Gives a series of non-answers. 
And I guess he tries to walk around it. And of course, Cotton says, I'm amazed that might be the definition of assault weapon. That would basically cover every single modern sporting rifle in America today. And of course, the NRA had chimed in, even though my credibility, the NRA's credibility with me, no. Um, so let's talking about uh, the NRA had defined uh, it uses the military definition of the assault rifle, describing it as this is in quotations a selective fire rifle chambered for a cartridge of intermediate power. And if applied to any semi automatic firearm, regardless of its cosmetic similarity to a true assault weapon, the term is incorrect. And I think believe that was the additional part from the NRA website. Um, of course, a lot of people know Ch Chipman was a former ATF special agent, senior policy advisor for the gun control organization Giffords. Uh, Gabby Giffords, people, a lot of people know about that. Um, of course, he told Senator Ted Cruz that I support a ban on the rifle, which he issued as a member of an ATF SWAT. Uh, ATF SWAT team. It's a particularly lethal weapon, and regulating it as other particularly lethal weapons I've advocated for. As ATF director, if I'm confirmed, I would simply enforce the laws in the books right now, and there is no such ban on those guns. So basically, he's giving you double speak. Um, he said things kind of uh, on the other way. Uh, Reddit questions. Not exactly a credible uh, medium, but yeah. Talked about the the article. Continue to talk about Hunter Biden. I don't need to talk about him because he's done drugs and has very little credibility in my eyes. Because I was in the military, and if I would have been given a chance to go to OCS or uh, reserve training to be an officer. I probably wouldn't have screwed up like he did because that's an embarrassment. I was good, clean on, on drug test, and I don't know why somebody like that couldn't, besides being a drug addict. But anyway, um, I, I just want y'all to look further at this thing with this Chipman guy and call your congressman and say, no, he's a fiend. He, you know, he's a, he's, you can't believe what he's saying, and he's going to flip flop. And but you know where his his bread and but his bread is buttered. Um, Giffords folks, the anti gun folks, blatantly on this. Um, I did want to add another little sidestep here. Um, in a way, there's a lot of people who do want him to ban AR-15s, and I'm going to tell you what you're going to get out of it. It's going to push people over the edge, and they will do something about it. Um, I I tell folks you should not depend on unelected govern governmental officials, government officials too, if you want to say it that way. You shouldn't depend on clowns uh, in the government to tell you what your rights are, and it's garbage. And I tell people they get mad enough to do something about it. Either they're going to scream bloody murder at their politicians. We can petition to ha to withdraw our our senators from from the U.S. Capitol and send them home. We can do all sorts of things. I I want to tell people I want peaceful actions first. I, I'm talking about gumming up the works. The government who does the least does the best, and. I want our states to nullify this garbage. ATF, unelected bodies of, of clowns. We have people that are uh, cabinets. We never ask these people to, to make a lot of these laws and rules without the consent of the people. We just put clowns in charge. We had, I don't care if it was Republicans or Democrats or Libertarians. If, if you had somebody who blatantly came out and said, I don't want to do anything, I'm just going to collect a check, at, right after they got no, uh, their nomination uh, cleared, here's the thing. 
I think it's garbage. I think they're all garbage. I think the person who does nothing would do the best. I was like, yeah, I want to collect a check and do nothing. I want my people, I want uh, ES jobs. The guys at these desks, they'll make policy and we'll never, we'll never put it forward. I'll never put my name to it. We'll just have a, we'll just have a talking point, a, a yammer box of uh, idiotic ideas. And then we'll do nothing. Yeah, I don't want them to do anything. Let, it, let the states do it. Now, I, I'm, I'm telling folks, the peaceful intentions, they fall apart, and the states say, we nullify this. The governor goes, ATF will not operate in our state. We'll let the state people do it. And if the, the federal government had anything to do with it, and they call you on your BS, and they start trying to steal road funds from you and stuff, you know what? You're going to have to start doing your own roads. It's a hard road. Pardon the expression. It's a hard road out of hell. Special thanks. Marilyn Manson, but I want you folks to think that way. What are we doing? What can we not do on state level? And then quit sucking up to the unelected morons and even the elected ones. Elect people who don't do anything. The less they do, the better they do. The less money they steal, the better they do. Think that way. Now, uh, I do have links below for Twitter, uh, do, 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 gab, uh, parlay, which is work, doesn't work half the time. Do your post link below. I have an email address if you want to send some hate mail. Oh, oh by the way, hit notification, subscribe, uh, like button, because I'd rather have you like this and uh, not do anything at all. But, uh, hey, thank you for stopping by. Please take care of yourself.